They say that no news is good news, but it turns out that weird news is even better news. Sure, if you pick up the newspaper or watch the nightly news, it seems to be an endless litany of terrible things. But it turns out there's also a bunch of strange, wacky, and downright odd things going on too. Here's a look at the weirdest news stories of 2017. The Deadliest Catch It has a reputation for being one of the most relaxing sports around, or boring depending on your point of view. But a fishing trip nearly turned deadly for a 28-year-old man in England. After catching a 6-inch fish, the man posed for a photo where he pretended to kiss it, which is when the fish got frisky. It shot out of my hand, into my mouth, and basically swam straight down my throat. Paramedics arrived just two minutes later, but the man had already stopped breathing and gone into cardiac arrest. Amazingly, they were able to get the fish out and revive the victim, who later made a full recovery. Craziest of all, in 2016, another man actually perished when a fish jumped down his throat as well. Yikes. Catch of the day. It was apparently an epic year for fishing, because down in Florida, an unnamed man got the surprise of his life when he reeled in a cursing drunk woman. Identified as 22-year-old Alexandria Turner, the woman apparently swam up to the man's lure and began shouting obscenities at him before biting his line and swimming off with it. Attempts to reel Turner in failed, and police arrived to coax her, still swearing and shouting, up onto the pier where she was hauled off to face charges of disorderly intoxication and resisting arrest. Good thing he didn't try to kiss her. Fear the Beard U.S. authorities spent years building a case against Gal Valerius, who allegedly lived a secret double life as Oxy Monster, an administrator for a dark web narcotics emporium. But since he lived in France, they couldn't arrest him unless he set foot on American soil, which he foolishly did in an attempt to win the World Beard and Mustache Championships. While the other competitors were shocked, they still had to give credit where credit was due, with one saying, I don't know anything about what other stuff he did, but as far as his beard goes, it's really awesome. Terrorist Baby Travelers to the U.S. must typically fill out what's called an ESTA form, which asks such seemingly ridiculous questions as, do you seek to engage or have you ever engaged in terrorist activities, espionage, sabotage, or genocide? Nobody would ever actually say yes to that, right? Well, someone did. And that someone was a three-month-old baby. 63-year-old Englishman Paul Kenyon was traveling with his three-month-old grandson Harvey when he accidentally checked the wrong box on Harvey's form. Authorities hauled the baby in for questioning, leading to what had to be one of the most amazing interrogations of all time. Kenyon told The Guardian that the American officials didn't appear to have a sense of humor over it at all, adding, If you were a terrorist, I suspect you'd not be ticking yes on the ESTA form anyway. We never did trust those babies. Grand Theft Nutella In the German town of Neustadt, a group of thieves somehow completely emptied a refrigerated truck full of Nutella, making off with almost 20 tons of the chocolate hazelnut spread. According to CBS Chicago, authorities strongly suspect the theft of a trailer in a neighboring town may be related to the deliciously sweet heist. While Neustadt police gravely warned the public about accepting large quantities of chocolate via unconventional channels. We know who our top suspect is. Love, love. Tennis players often grunt loudly while serving. But during a match at the Sarasota Open between Francis Tiafo and Mitchell Kruger, fans and players alike were surprised to hear the loudest grunting coming from somewhere off court. While commentators originally thought the noises were coming from someone in the crowd watching porn on their phones, it turned out a couple in an apartment all the way on the other side of a nearby lake were engaged in their own loud baseline rally, which apparently ended in a score of love, love, if you know what we mean. It's still going. What is going it on? It can't be that good! <laughs> Lizard-infused beer. An Orange County man is suing Heineken because he says he found a little something extra in his beer. George Tuba had kicked back with a few brews he purchased from a local Ralph supermarket when he began to notice a foul taste, presumably different from the foul taste that comes with simply drinking a typical Heineken. Tuba pressed on, drinking enough of the strange brew to make him start puking. And that's when his daughter took a closer look at the can he'd been drinking from and found a couple of dead lizards inside. In August 2017, he filed a lawsuit claiming emotional distress and anxiety. But at least it was just geckos and not something worse. 
Footloose intrudes on real life. The 1984 film Footloose is mostly remembered for Kevin Bacon's incredible dance skills, which he puts on display in a Midwestern town where it's so uptight it's against the law to dance there. That's something so crazy only Hollywood could imagine it, right? Wrong. Welcome to Henrietta, Oklahoma, which according to ABC News has an honest to Pete morality ordinance which forbids dancing within 500 feet of a church. When a store owner planned a Valentine's Day dance, though, things went sideways. Even though the local sheriff had no intention of enforcing the ridiculous law, the dance was canceled anyway due to an unusual source of pressure. The owner canceled the dance, mostly because her husband is the city attorney. He said, you know, that his oath was to uphold the law. There's one bright side, though. Now the entire town is just one degree from Kevin Bacon. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too.